Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. It means a lot to me. This evening we're going to do a ring pour and we I use a lot of greens um, and uh, greens that have kind of a blue tint to them. Like I believe the blue green from Amsterdam is in here as well with white. So I really wanted to have a very dark and a very light um, to kind of accent or highlight this ring pour. You'll see in the results um, that the white did take a little bit, take the piece over a little bit, I think. Um, but it's still a beautiful piece. So join me on this journey. Here are the dried results of this piece. It actually is greener in person. I'm not certain why it's showing quite so blue on camera, but when I bring you in closer, maybe it'll shift to the, the correct green. It's super pretty. Um, there's a lot going on here. Um, some of the rings are just just gorgeous. Let's take you in here a little bit so we can see. So just the, there we go. That's kind of the greener tone that is the real piece. Um, just beautiful lines. I wish there was a little more definition in the white area. You can see right there that because of the way um, the rings laid out that it's not quite as differentiating in some of the areas. This corner is just beautiful, I think. I think that's a really pretty side of it. Um, but overall, yeah, this is a very, very intriguing piece. Um, thank you for stopping by the channel. The process of this video is up next. Find your bliss. Hi guys, we're gonna do a ring pour, yay! So I'm going over the colors. This is Thalo Green. This is a Soho brand. This is actually Blue Green Amsterdam. This is Prussian Blue Thalo Amsterdam. Um, I've got a uh, turquoise green from Amsterdam. Not sure if we're going to use this one or not. I've got the regular turquoise from Amsterdam. I've got Arteza's lime green mixed with a white because I was getting low on that one. I've got Arteza pearl cactus green. I've got Arteza's glacier blue. I've got um, metallic forest green. And I've got a metallic turquoise along with Artist Loft White. So this is gonna be what we're gonna use for the ring pour. Okay guys, we are back. I'm gonna just tilt you down so you're entire, you got the entire canvas here in the frame. Oh, there we go. I went ahead and decided that I was gonna paint my sides because I changed my mind at the last minute and decided to put some Prussian Blue as the top color in here um, so that I could flood the canvas on the sides with the Prussian Blue. So that is what we're going to do, and we're going to begin our pour. Just getting this a good grip on this, and I will try and rotate my hand a little bit as we go. So here we go. get around here. I am not in the center of this canvas anymore. I'm going to pick the cup up again, move over, the center there. All right, so what we've got here, ooh, 
I'm gonna get blue all over my hands because <laughs> I painted my sides. Um, we're gonna very, very slowly move this around. I am gonna pop some air bubbles that I can see here. Which will give us a few little cells in here. And that's all right. Okay, so we're gonna stretch this by slowly rotating it. And as we get further and further out, just moving my roll of craft paper here so I don't trip on it like I have a couple times now. Yeah, I can still see some air bubbles popping, so there's some right there. We're just gonna we're gonna go very 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 slowly as we kind of just rotate this out you know what I think I am gonna flood it with depression right now just moving this back here a little bit yeah we're definitely gonna flood this with the the Prussian blue give it something to move on So I'm going to just take this and go all the way around. Oh no, we're running out. Talk about air bubbles. go very slowly out we're just gonna circle this very very slowly I can speed this up on the video for you guys so don't worry there on this side over here so now we're gonna change our angle Get that go in this direction
Paint over here? It is, okay. I'm not in love with that corner right there, so I'm trying to get that corner to ooh go. It was nails on a chalkboard night, apparently. Trying to even out the circle a bit, a little bit. Yep, that's what I wanted. Okay. Now we're just going to come back to the opposite corner here. Take a look here for a minute. I think if I tilt anymore, I think we're going to get some real craziness happening. So I think we're going to stop right there.